be is it Wednesday. Yes, it's is Wednesday. It Wednesday. Yeah, I love yeah. the track. Uh, yeah, kind of a blur lately. It well, is you've the been sick. Channel. Andy O'Reilly, Dave Cackley is here, and uh, we are ready to do this thing called the Andy and Dave Daily. If you haven't been playing along, what it is is it's kind of like a rehash of the radio show that we used to do before Dave got fired and everything went south <laughs> on me uh, because I hated it. Um, <laughs> So, Wait, you got fired too. I no, wasn't I the only one. I quit. What? Wait a second. I thought you got fired and I got fired. No. Well, that was that that Grand Rapids the second station time. Count. Oh, that was the second I'm time. I'm talking about here in Muskegon. That was the Grand Rapids thing was just I didn't th- I didn't think that would last as long as it did. To be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we made we it a year and a half people longer. So we can fire them in a couple of months. That'd be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> Makes all us AOL execs feel important when we fire people. Ah. <sighs> Because AOL execs all belong running radio stations, right? <laughs> so anyway, what we do is we, we, we get together, we, we talk about the affairs of the day, bring up a news story or two, maybe trade jabs as, as fun buddies do from time to time and then and again. Yes. And, uh, you know, we're going to solve the world's problems right here on Skype. Absolutely. And I want I, I got to ask you, are you, you're feeling a little bit better today? You're not going to be the curmudgeon you were yesterday and I, you know just what? crapping I, honestly, all over everything? I didn't sleep five minutes the night before last. Yeah. I was miserable. I didn't feel good all day. I, I did, I did uh, two things yesterday and then canceled everything else. Yeah. I still don't feel all that good. You know, it's, it's just a sinus infection. That's all it is. You, you know, you're missing that rosy glow. Oh, well, here. I know. There you go. How's that? Well, I, you know what? I wanna, I wanna say you're, you're an inspiration for battling through your sniffles, and uh, I, I just wanna say you're like to me, you're like a, you're like the white male Robin Roberts. Well, thank you. you no, know, you just, you're, you're very brave for, <laughs> for fighting through and, and, and coming in to do this for, you know, the next fifteen minutes. Well, you know, I, it's, 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 here's the thing, and I want you to stop and think about this, because this is, this is, this is real, okay? Uh-huh. Sinus infection, yes. Lack of sleep the other night, yes, absolutely. Called the doctor for some of the good cough syrup, and guess what? <laughs> he was yeah. already out at three fifteen. Well, out of his... like that. Uh, but then, you know, this morning, yeah. Not only do I have to get up, I have to come down, walk down a hall, a second set of steps, and into my studio. Wow, it's like you ran a marathon. Steeple chase. <sighs> yeah. I'd like to thank all the little people that got me here. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, an inspiration to one and all, and uh, I'm I'm just ho- I'm just hopeful that I can hold up my end of the bargain. Well, please try. All right, give it your best. I know you okay. had an exciting night over at your your. <laughs> where were you? You you were at your ex's place. Yeah, I was because um, Max was supposed to have a baseball game, but it got canceled. So oh, I picked no. him up from school, and uh, her house is really close to the school, so we just hung out there till she got home. And uh, we played some Wii Golf, and I kicked his ass. Nice. Uh, he didn't cry. No. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, sometimes it's – Then you gave you him – your ki- You don't want to let your kids win. Right. That's the point. That's the yeah, thing. Then and they then, don't know how then, to deal with defeat. And then you, you fed, him, fed him a healthy dinner of Gatorade and Ta- tacos. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Reheated tacos and Gatorade. That's, that's, what, that's what a healthy, growing boy needs. See, here's the question, though. Were the tacos 99-cent tacos? No, no. Um, his mom actually had made them. I think the night before, oh, maybe. So just I, I just re. Oh, I reheated them okay. and then put them in a. You know, I assembled it myself. Oh. In the in the in the soft shell, and uh, then gave him a Gatorade, you know, out of the fridge. And okay. That's a well balanced meal. So tacos and Gatorade. You're completely comfortable going over to your exes, raiding the refrigerator. What raiding? It's a, we co. You know, I'm I'm a parent. You know. Yeah. He, he eats. Food at my house and and at her house. I don't, oh. you know, bring food over. Right. Why would I do that? I mean, I was going to take him to Subway, but I forgot my wallet. Oh well, go figure. <laughs> Alan Harper forgets his wallet. I'll be. Oh sh- <laughs> Alan Harper. For anybody you know under forty who didn't get that, <laughs> everybody got it. Don't worry. You and Matt, two uh, Alan Harpers. Oh, I forgot my wallet. Yeah, you okay. did. <laughs> oh, two and a half men, Alan Harper. There That's you go. The guy. Who are you thinking? Yeah, I don't know. For some reason, I was thinking Harper Valley PTA. That was a show from the seventies. I don't. Did you just spit when you talked again? I, I did, and I was no, hoping. Oh, so gross! Oh my god! 
All right, why, before you gross us all out, why don't you do some kind of news or something, whatever. Okay, President Trump defended his $1 trillion-plus budget deal as he and Republicans in Congress face criticism at what critics see as a cave to Democrats on everything from sanctuary cities to Planned Parenthood. Trump said the reason for the renegotiated plan is that, quote, we need 60 votes in the Senate, which are not there. The deal was made in order to fund the government through September and avoid a shutdown. This is pretty well split along party lines. Uh, Republicans are saying Democrats got everything uh, they wanted, and Democrats are saying, yeah, we did. Yeah, well, it's amazing. You, know you had a Republican Congress, you had a Republican Senate, and and, and this is something I've, I've always said since before he even ran for president. He's not a Republican. He's not a conservative. This is what he's going to do, so you should expect it and deal with it. You knew what you were getting into. I'm here to tell you what. It is the biggest broken mess I've ever – I'd never even imagined that we'd see government this dysfunctional in our lifetime. It's always been dysfunctional throughout our entire lifetime. When has it been bad, functional? It's not, this, oh, ever, it's, not as been, it's not been this bad. It's, it's not. Ridiculous. It's been worse. Come it's, on. It's, and we're all, don't be a prisoner of the moment. You know, right now, every, every, every year, it's like right now is the worst. Right now is the worst. Has, has it ever been the – I've never in my lifetime – had any heard anybody say when they were referring to the government, oh, man, this is great. We, this is such a they're, – they're spending money efficiently and, and nothing's broken and everything's great. No, it's always been – it's never been this bad. Okay. That's, that's to me. Thank you, Dave. Everything, everything's fine. Federal appeals court has refused to reconsider its ruling allowing student-led prayer at school meetings in Texas in March – the uh, Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals unanimously rejected a challenge of student prayer, saying that such prayers do not violate the prohibition against government-established religion. The American Humanist Association the plaintiff in the case said they may appeal to the Supreme Court. I think they're definitely going to appeal to the Supreme Court. Although, and I've said this uh, forever about about prayer in schools, it here's doesn't. Dave, I don't wait, care. Wait, if wait, wait, wait. Here's Dave's second qualifier of the day of how he's always said this and. I know, I have. And we'll get it. Expanded wisdom upon all of us. Go ahead. Uh, well, and I'll, I'll give you some more wisdom later on. Another thing I was correct on, but uh, saying a prayer does not establish a religion. I agree. So none of these prayers have ever violated anything in the Constitution. I agree. It's ridiculous. Uh, that this is even in that this is even in question or in in the court system. Police in Muskegon have identified the victim of a fatal shooting earlier this week as a 15 year old Davion Hewlett. Mm. Uh, the shooting was reported just before 7 p.m. Monday in the parking lot of Northway Bowling Center on Evanston Avenue. The victim had been sitting in a car. Uh, two men fled the scene and were later apprehended. Their names have not been released. Officials do believe the shooting was an accident. Just a horribly tragic situation. Not only accident, but they're saying they think brother accidentally yeah, shot that, him. See, I didn't want to. I didn't want to get it because uh, that hadn't been completely confirmed. But uh, yeah, horrible situation. I know this. This always hits close to home with you being, you know, that that's that's well, you know, your kid, fifteen-year-old kid. Yeah. How, how does that not hit close to home anywhere? Right. I mean, sure, I'm kind of all pro Muskegon and, and you know looking for the best of everything all the time, mm -hmm. but you know first and foremost, what are they doing with a gun at that age? I don't know how old his brother was or if he was a licensed carrier or anything like that. Yeah. So, so they shouldn't have had a gun in the first place. Second of all, this is just the loss of a kid. I mean, mm -hmm. you got to figure this this kid was a Muskegon right. High School student. That's that's got repercussions. I we had a when I went to uh, West Catholic, we had a guy that uh, he ran home and committed suicide, and mm. I was the last person to see him in the school. Oh, ran, my God. Oh, my God, yeah. He ran past me, and I said, hey, is everything okay? As he was going by, and he said, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. And then, like, a half an hour later, they came on the intercom and made an announcement that this kid went home and shot himself. And, and uh, you know what? That oh. that blows a school apart. Oh, absolutely. So, so to think that, the, in, in, you know, 15. Yeah. 15, man, that's it. And we don't know, like, there's, there's, it hasn't been any mention whether or not he was licensed to carry or anything. Now, I grew up in a town that had a lot of guns. Yeah. You know, Middleville had a lot, and it was a lot of hunters. Yep. A lot, you know, a lot, some people had it for protection, which was ironic because pretty much everybody left their doors unlocked back yeah, then. It was yeah, a yeah. small town, and, but there were, we never had any, I don't recall any, accidental shootings ever occurring or anything even remotely like this. Just a horrifically tragic accident. I think, and, and I'm not kidding when I say this, I think that more education and more uh, attention needs to be paid to young people and firearms. They, oh, 
Oh you, yeah. It used to be you you had firearms class in high school. They, you know, it may have been an after-school class. It may have been something like that. But kids need to know just how powerful and how big the ramifications are if they elect to use firearms. You have, you have death in your hands, you're literally. Death. You're done. That's yeah. it. Unbelievable. It's, it's an awful, awful thing, and I and I, I hope the best for the family. And you know, you know, the the kid that uh, think about this, man. You shoot your brother. I, you, you got to live with that for the rest of your life. And that's, and, 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 mm. I don't know. I don't know. Michigan house of uh, Michigan house of representatives passed an education budget on Tuesday. The omnibus education budget includes across the board increases of $100 per pupil, $2.75 million for private schools and full funding for cyber schools, K through 12 schools, community college and universities clocked in at 16.3 billion of that 14.3 billion is for school aid, 1.6 billion for universities and 395 million for community colleges. The increase in uh, per student funding will bring the minimum uh, foundation allowance to more than $7,600 per pupil wow. in the state. I think the one thing, because uh, this, this thing went down along party lines, Republicans voted for it, Democrats voted against it. I think that one of the big hang-ups for Democrats was the cyber schools uh, that they wanted uh, funding cut for and kind of balanced out. But uh, uh, I, I don't know what I think about these cyber schools yet. I, yeah, I think it's too early to tell. I, I, just, I think that there's an element that's going to get lost of human interaction and development of, of people. Mm-hmm. If, if, if let's let's say, let's honestly let's say you're a kid and you sit in a studio like this or a little room like this and do your cyber school all day long. What are you not mm-hmm. developing by? isolating yourself like oh, that well, there's, there's oh well there's the relationship aspect, aspect but that's another one of those things that's on the parents to get them involved in another right. way uh from a social standpoint school i mean because that, that i think that was the big concern with like home schools when those those started is that they were going to miss out on the interaction with other kids and i think that can still be an issue unless you have you know like play groups play dates whatever as long as they're they're integrated with other students that uh, that aren't homeschooled so uh, and that seems to be a benefit because homeschooled kids do better than anybody else on these standardized tests I, too. I was um we did a story on positively muskegon it came out yesterday Day. they've got mm-hmm. this thing out here in muskegon and i'm sure it's ever it's it's everywhere but uh we just got it going here in muskegon a few years ago do you did you know that now in high school like say the 10th grade you've got the option to enroll into an early college program yeah I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah that's becoming more and more uh common which is amazing so in 11th grade you take a couple of high school classes and a couple of college classes in 12th right. grade, you take a couple of college classes, a couple more college classes, and a couple less high school classes. But then what mm-hmm. they do is they extend it into this, this quote-unquote, 13th year. Yeah. Yeah. You're done with a bachelor's degree by the time you're a freshman in high school. That, or in college. That, that's done. That's, right. And right. guess what? It's, that's... Guess what? It's free. <laughs> right. They right. pay for it through the that's... that, that $7,000 per student that you're talking about. So yeah. if, if yeah. your kids are – A, if you want to save some money, first and right. foremost. I right. Mean, you what are you looking at? Twelve grand for something oh, like oh, that? I don't know. But I'm still paying. I'm still paying it. Of course you are. <laughs> Twenty years, 20 years and later, a valuable uh, certificate in Elizabethan hey. poetry. You hey, got. that's really hey. got you. Hey, that's, <laughs> it was communications and religion. Oh, yeah, that's it. But um, hey. no, just go to Positively Muskegon and you can see the story right there and they'll lay it all out for you. Your kids done with college uh, a year after they graduate high school. Dad, that's what I'm hoping with. That's what I'm hoping with for yeah. Max is to have that have that thing taken care of. Or at least both. I mean, you can you can get the, that associate's degree. You can have uh, you know have him graduate and still only have two years of college left. That's phenomenal and unbelievably uh, cost effective. That's the way things are going in Muskegon. We're that awesome. Thank you. Very 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 cool. Hey, speaking of Muskegon, a couple of millage uh, proposals went down yesterday. Oak Ridge and Oak Ridge and Whitehall voted uh, down those school repairs. Now we had talked about this yesterday. I said this is one of those uh, millage proposals that that voters take a second look at because they look at the school and they're like, okay, it's a building as long as it's not impacting them scholastically. Uh, why do I want to pay more taxes for it? And that's, at the end of the day, it's looked at as 
more of a of a want from the school system than an actual need for the students, and that's why that those went down. Montague though did narrowly pass their school repair budget, and that surprised the, the really surprising thing to me that went down the additional funds for secondary rep- repairs to uh, roads and snow removal uh, that went down as well. That was kind of what a shocker. About the, uh, did you see anything about the White Lake Aquatic Center? Uh, no, I did not. Well, way to go. And that's it. That's cool. Oh, well, so, you got one job, and that's find out the news. And what do you I, do? I, and what did I do? I, I just told you a bunch of other things one that passed. Job, there you go. Okay. One job uh-huh. is all you had, I, and you don't know. I, that, was, that was all the information that I that I had available to me uh, as of as of about uh, five six o'clock oh, you this did this morning. All five o'clock this morning? Wow. I, no, I did. Well, I did some of it last Ooh. night. I, I woke up two o'clock this morning. I checked to see what the what the voting tallies were, and that's what I had uh, had through Muskegon. All right, well, so, all right, then I apologize for for calling you out. As you should. In sports, it was the Tigers over Cleveland 5-2. to two. Cubs beat up on the Phillies 8-3. to three. Speaking of the Cubs, uh, evidently their championship trophy was damaged at a charity concert in Boston last weekend. It has since been repaired, but that's kind of sad. You know, you wait 108 years to win a World Series, and then they break the trophy. You know, I'll tell you, with, with trophies, you know, the, yeah. the, you, know what, you know what trophies really get treated rough after they're awarded? Oh, Stanley Cup. Oh Cop. my God! The Stanley Cup, the hockey trophies. I've seen, I've yeah. seen pictures yeah. of hockey trophies in the bottom of pools. <laughs> <laughs> on top of being at every strip club in the yeah. so, cotton on the continent. Yeah, absolutely. Good Lord. Right, are you done for the day? I'm done. I'm, I'm done. Out I'm out. Go enjoy your Wednesday. See ya.